everyone, this is Isabel Mrosek from Isabel Mrosek Photography and I have recently worked with Greater Than Gatsby to bring you guys the Painterly Portrait Collection. I'm so excited to show you guys how to transform your images with these actions into that painterly look that everybody is going for. So let's go ahead and get started with this airbrush smoother. We're going to go ahead and play that and we're going to bring our opacity up to 50%. And we are going to start running this over our subjects, avoiding any lines. I do like to run this a little bit into their hairline to kind of help blend everything. I love this brush. It kind of just helps blend colors together in their skin tones, as well as kind of give that dreamy porcelain skin. Okay. And now we're gonna go down in here into our skin glow. We're gonna pl play that and we are gonna bring this up to 100%. And we are going to start brushing this all over their face and their hair. And as you can see, this just brightens everything Now we're going to go in into our skin and hair warmer. We're going to drop this down to about 35%. We're going to start brushing this onto their skin. And it does exactly what it says. It's a skin warmer. Basically gives you that peachy skin. And it's versatile because you can also use this on their hair and it gives that hair a nice glow. We're gonna come down into our paint on glow and we're gonna go ahead and play that. And now this is really the only manual part of the action set that you will have to do. And I'll explain that here as we go. We're gonna make sure our range is set to midtones. Our exposure, we're gonna drop down to 5%. And I'll also show you guys how you can Play with your exposure higher or lower to get the desired effect that you're going for. We're going to go ahead and start with the skin. And what this is going to do is we are going to paint on that glow and bring out the highlights. And we're going to brush this down the bridge of the nose, right under there. We're just finding where the light is naturally hitting and just making it pop even more. These steps are really imperative to start that foundation for that painterly look. Perfect. As you can see, I'm even going down into the fingertips and making those stand out. Moving on over to Mabry down her legs and then her hand over here. Now a good point of reference for the skin is looking at a makeup highlight and contour chart that will also help know the places that you're going to want to highlight on a person's skin. We're going to go down the bridge of the nose right above her lips here. And then right in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump my exposure up to 10% for their hair and their clothes and the foliage around them. And I'm going to start making her natural highlights pop and adding dimension. It helps almost add that 3D effect to an image. We're going to start bringing this down into her dress and adding dimension in there. Right in here, even going down into her socks and her shoes. As you can see, this is really adding that nice sheen. And it 
it's really good to keep your exposure a little bit lower just because it gives you a little bit of more control you can always go back you can always add more I'm just going over the places a couple times until I reach the desired effect that I'm looking for down in here we're gonna go in and I am going to run this in their iris and help make those pop and then we're gonna go in and do the same thing on Maddox and then we're gonna again zoom out and now we're gonna start on these tree branches and again just making those highlights pop in there I like to change my brush size as I go to be a little bit more detailed. And then we're going to run this on these major branches to give dimension here. So I'll show you with it off and on. You can see that really brings out those highlights. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the shadows. We're going to play that. I'm going to keep this at about a 5%, making sure, again, my range is at midtones, exposure at 5%. Bring this down, and I'm going to run this along her cheeks right in here, right under his hairline, and around his cheek and jaw area. I even like to pop this under the lips to make that pop. Brush this right along her leg. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that. And we're gonna move on over into the foundations. We're gonna go ahead and play Donatello. It's gonna give us that rich base. And this is going to help give us a great base for that color tones that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 100% because I like what it's doing here. We're gonna go down into Impression Sunrise. And it adds a lot of warmth to the image. We're gonna play that and we are going to drop this down to 20%. And then I am going to go ahead into this painterly brush box and show you guys the perfect fall combination. So we are going to have our brush at 100% opacity. And with this fire sky, we are going to start depositing this color into the foliage area, avoiding our subjects. And I got a little bit on his ears, but not a big deal. It's super easy to go back and just mask that off of him, which is what's so great about these. You're able to put these on wherever you want. And if you make a mistake, it's super easy to go back in and fix your mistake. As you can see, we're adding that gorgeous orange tone everywhere. And it's already starting to transform this image right into fall. We're gonna go ahead and bring it up in here. And then down in here. There's some green right in here that we're gonna brush this on. We're gonna move on over here. Perfect. a little bit of green in here that I'm just gonna pop this right over. Now I'm gonna take a black brush and just mask that off of our subject where we got it on him. 
And then we're gonna go in with Burning Bush and play that. Drop our opacity down to 35%. And we are going to start dropping this eggplant color right into the shadowed areas. And this is gonna help add dimension to these fall colors. These two together create the perfect fall images. And I'm, mis and I'm really focusing on the outer parts, almost adding a vignette around my subjects with this purple color. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flatten that. Then I am going to go in into our painterly textures and this is going to help give us that final painterly look. We're going to go ahead and play that. We're going to go in and drop Dolly to around 50% and this blends all the colors together and creates that nice creamy look. Now we're gonna go down into our finishing mattes and I am going to use Matte Dylan and I am going to drop this down to 20% and then with a black brush at 80% opacity, I am going to start brushing this off of my subjects. And this is really also going to help my subjects stand out from the background and really pop. And we are all done. That's all it takes, guys, to get that perfect painterly look. I will go ahead and show you guys the before and the after. Again, the before and the after. If you love this action set as much as we do, go ahead and check it out at www.greaterthangatsby.com. Again, that's www.greaterthangatsby.com. Thanks for watching.